Hey, good morning guys, welcome to Quintero Love. Hola, bienvenido de vuelta a Quintero Love. Today I am driving to the to the Pigeon Food Store uh, to get the food that I need for my racing team. I'm gonna apply the McLaughlin uh, uh, feeding system as I told you before. I am driving now, I am getting to the store. I'm gonna put you the store address here for people that are in New Jersey that they can get it here. Uh, this is a place, it's close to the airport, uh, to the Newark airport here in New Jersey. And then this is the door. It's a little close, but I can fit through it. And then this is the place. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can do a video inside and then I'm gonna show you inside what they have. Basket. This is a breeding mix. Some nest balls. This is alpha. It has a lot of grits. Van Rowey great. You have these feeders. You see the grid floors. You know, this is oyster shells. So you have a lot of these grids. This is all around. Some pea and pellets. And this is a this is a actually a loaf that you can buy from here. It has some look at this really nice. Some breathing boxes. Oh, let me get here, it's a little tight. Look at how nice this is. You can put the nest ball there. Nice work. I don't know how this works. You have a, a really good things here. Yeah, I got mine from here. Some medicines, supplements for the pigeons. Okay, and this is the address. And you can you can come here and get all your pigeon supplements and and fit. Okay, this is what I got. I got four four bags of barley. And then he didn't have any racing mix, and then I will go ahead and order the racing mix from from Chewy. And then I have one bag. It's called Enduro. Let me show you the label. You can see it there. Endure. And then this one is more like high in fat. And this sometimes kind of tricky. Show you. Oh, it's really good. Look at this. Really nice quality barley. And then let me open the other box and the back. You. Ok, 
okay and this is the energy it's called endure <laughs> and you can see it there this is the one that I'm gonna use uh, before before shipping I mean the day before shipping to give energy to the pigeons let me know what you think you know I don't know that much about food but let me know if you think that there is the way to go. He didn't have any racing mix. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my friendly Chewy that they ship to my home, Bercele Laga for pigeons. And then I'm gonna look for a racing mix here. I mean, the food has increased a lot in price, as you can see there. Uh, okay, the option that we have, uh, we have the Bercele Laga Black Label Champion, as you can see it's 46 bucks. And then I already have an energy with him in the store. And then the other one is the Champion, that is $2 cheaper. Uh, let me check the Black Label. You can open here and you can see the what they have, black maize, dairy, safflower, peas, toasted soybeans, and then the pellets that they put on it. And then the, there is a picture also here that you can see, really nice. And then the, the other is the, just the champion. Let's see, it's charging, one second. And then this one uh, doesn't have any picture. You can see there the protein, the fat, the fiber. Uh, it has maize, peas, flour, pearl barley, dairy, milo, and toasted soybeans. I think that the other one didn't have the pearl barley and the the milo i think that it didn't have i think that probably will go with the with the black label let me check again yeah black maize there is a flower piece toasted soybeans yeah it doesn't have the the barley the the, the peel barley and the and the Milo, or Milo, I don't know how do you say that. And then it looks really good. I think that I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get uh, one of this one, and then I'm gonna mix it with my barley. Okay, and two days later, after I ordered it, I got my my pigeon fit here from Chewy. Y después dos días después que lo ordené ya ya tengo aquí. That is a good thing about Chewy, you know. You order it and in two or three days you have the the food in your doorstep and you don't have to go around looking for for fit. But the problem is that it's a little expensive also, you know. It's a, it's a lo bueno de Chuy, no? Que la ordenas es por internet y enseguida te llega y te llega aquí a la casa y no tienes que salir a buscarla, pero lo malo es que es un poquito cara. this pure B from Bercele Laga some vitamin B complex for the birds and this is the, this is the black the champion black label they have really nice food See how it looks like. This is the one that I'm gonna mix with the barley. 80% barley and 20% champion black label. Okay, and this is how I'm gonna prepare my 
my training mix. I'm gonna put four of barley. going to be my 80% barley and 10 10%, 10%, uh, 20% and you can see how it's going to look like. And that is going to be my maintenance during the week. Okay, and then my loaded mix, the Endure mixed with the Black Labor. It's gonna be 50% of the endure and 50% of the black labor. And then it's gonna look like this. That is gonna be to load the bears before the race. No barley at all in this mix. Okay, and this is how it's gonna be. Uh, I call it modify my loafing feeding and training method because uh, I mean I made some modification. Most of it is as he said in his YouTube channel, but I made just a little changes. Uh, for example, he raced on sun on Saturday and we race here on Sunday. That means that I have to change all those days. Uh, I'm gonna feed once daily, and then for every. Uh, two hours flying the pigeons are gonna rest one complete day that means no training and no love flying they're gonna be uh, stuck in the love and then this is how I'm gonna do it for short distance races that means less than 350 miles or less than seven hours eight or seven to eight hours this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it here and then you can pause the video and take a look Then for long distance races, he usually divides the team in two. We don't have that many long races. I think that we have a 400 and then the following week we have 150. That means that they go short. And then we have a 500. That means that we, I don't have to divide the team in two. And this is the feeding. And then I'm gonna give you now the percentage of the feed that I'm gonna use in those loaded mix and training mix. I made this graph. You see here, day of the week, the feeding mix, how I call it. Percentage of barley, percentage of energy, and percentage of racing mix. I'm gonna leave it here a little bit and you can take a look. Yes, that is what I'm gonna do this year. Hopefully it's gonna be fine. I've been watching his videos and he's, uh, he has been flying for a while. Hopefully it's gonna help me this year. I feel the, I mean, I am less than a week from the first race and the birds feel good. Hopefully they're gonna perform good in the race and everything goes well. Okay guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one. Muchas gracias por ver el video. No los mantengo poniendo videitos. Si te gusta el video, dale like y suscríbete al canal y nos vemos en la próxima.